Welcome to Gaze into Cinema, The Vanishing of Bobby Dunbar. In the boiling summer of 1912, the peaceful shores of Swayze Lake in Louisiana gave testimony regarding a secretive occasion that would torment the Dunbar family for a long time into the future. It was a period of guiltlessness, corrupted by a baffling vanishing, a story woven with strings of secret and interest. At the core of the story was Bobby Dunbar, a four-year-old kid with cherubic elements and a devilish grin. Joined by his folks, Percy and Lessie Dunbar, and his kin, Bobby set out on a portentous fishing trip that would perpetually change the direction of their lives. As the sun dipped underneath the horizon, casting a brilliant shade across the serene waters of Swayze Lake, misfortune struck. Bobby Dunbar disappeared suddenly, his giggling fading into the whispers of the breeze. Alarm followed as the Dunbar family searched quickly for their beloved child, their cries echoing through the thick foliage that lined the lake's edge. For days, the search for Bobby Dunbar consumed the humble community of Opelousas and captured the attention of the nation. Groups of searchers combed the surrounding wilderness, their efforts fueled by hope and despair. However, despite their fervent efforts, Bobby remained elusive, his whereabouts shrouded in uncertainty. Then, just when all hope seemed lost, a breakthrough occurred. Eight months after Bobby's disappearance, a child resembling him was found in the company of a drifter named William Walters. Claiming the child as his own, Walters insisted that he was Charles Bruce Anderson, the illegitimate son of a woman named Julia Anderson. The Dunbar family, eager to reclaim their lost child, embraced the boy as Bobby, despite lingering doubts and discrepancies in his appearance. As news of the reunion spread, the nation rejoiced, celebrating the miraculous return of the lost child. However, amidst the celebration, whispers of doubt lingered in the shadows. Some questioned the authenticity of the boy's identity, pointing out inconsistencies in his physical appearance and behavior. Rumors swirled that the real Bobby Dunbar had met with foul play, his fate forever intertwined with the murky depths of Swayze Lake. As the years passed, the mystery of Bobby Dunbar's disappearance only deepened. In 2004, nearly 100 years after the fateful event, DNA testing was conducted on Bobby's relatives and the relatives of the boy believed to be Charles Bruce Anderson. The results were as surprising as they were puzzling. Despite being hailed as Bobby Dunbar for most of his life, the boy found in the company of William Walters was not biologically related to the Dunbar family. Instead, he was revealed to be the son of Julia Anderson, as William Walters had claimed. The discovery sent shockwaves through the Dunbar family and the community at large, raising more questions than answers. Following the DNA results, theories abounded, each more tantalizing than the last. Some speculated that Bobby had met with a tragic accident, his body lost to the depths of Swayze Lake. Others believed he had been abducted and raised by strangers, his true identity forever concealed from the world. However, amidst the uncertainty and speculation, one theory stood out as the most plausible, that Bobby Dunbar had been swept away by the currents of fate, lost to the annals of history, yet never forgotten in the hearts of those who loved him. The disappearance of Bobby Dunbar remains one of the greatest mysteries of the 20th century, a haunting enigma that defies explanation. To this day, the waters of Swayze Lake hold their secrets close, their depths concealing the truth of what truly happened on that fateful summer day in 1912. Thus, the tale of Bobby Dunbar endures, a testament to the enduring power of mystery and the fragility of human life. While the truth may never be known, the memory of Bobby Dunbar lives on, a symbol of hope and resilience in the face of loss. Years passed, and the mystery of Bobby Dunbar's disappearance continued to cast a long shadow over the Dunbar family and the town of Opelousas. Despite the passage of time, the unanswered questions lingered like ghosts, haunting those who cared deeply about unraveling the mystery of Bobby's fate. For the Dunbar family, the revelation of Bobby's true identity brought a mix of relief and pain. While they had finally discovered the truth about the boy they had raised as their own, the knowledge that their beloved Bobby was still lost to them cast a pall over their lives. Percy and Lessie Dunbar, tormented by guilt and grief, found solace in each other's arms, their love a beacon of light in the darkness that surrounded them. 
As for the boy who had been raised as Bobby Dunbar, his world was turned upside down by the revelation of his true parentage. Struggling to come to terms with the knowledge that he was not who he had believed himself to be, he embarked on a journey of self-discovery, seeking answers to the questions that had plagued him his entire life. Meanwhile, the town of Opelousas grappled with the legacy of Bobby Dunbar's disappearance, its scars still raw from the wounds of the past. Amidst the turmoil, one man refused to let the mystery of Bobby Dunbar fade into obscurity. Benjamin Radford, a journalist and investigator with a keen interest in unsolved mysteries, became obsessed with uncovering the truth behind Bobby's disappearance. Armed with determination and a relentless pursuit of justice, Radford delved into the archives, scouring old news articles and witness testimonies in search of clues. His investigation led him down a winding path filled with twists and turns, uncovering long-buried secrets and hidden agendas. Along the way, he encountered resistance from those who sought to keep the truth hidden, their motives murky, and their loyalties questionable. However, despite the obstacles in his path, Radford would not be deterred. With each new revelation, he pieced together the puzzle of Bobby Dunbar's disappearance, slowly unraveling the tangled web of deception that had ensnared the town for so long. Finally, after years of painstaking research and emotional perseverance, Bradford uncovered the truth behind Bobby Dunbar's fate. Through a combination of forensic evidence and witness accounts, he was able to reconstruct the events of that fateful summer day in 1912 with chilling clarity. It was revealed that Bobby Dunbar had indeed drowned in Swayze Lake, his body swept away by the unforgiving currents of fate. In a tragic twist of fate, the child found in the company of William Walters had been a victim of circumstance his life forever intertwined with the Dunbar family's tragic story. The discovery sent shockwaves through the town of Opelousas, shattering the illusions of those who had clung to the hope of a miraculous reunion. However, amidst the grief and sorrow, there was also a sense of closure, a realization that while the truth may be painful, it is also a necessary part of healing to begin. Thank you for watching.